Hi everyone, I uh, tried to upgrade the memory on my uh, Dell Latitude E6430 and guess what? There were no videos online to show me how to do it. So here I am. As with any electronic devices, uh, before you start working on them, make sure you remove uh, your battery. So in this case, uh, just slide the two tabs to the outside of the unit and then lift this off. In order to remove the back of the unit, um, this one has, it's held in place by quite a few screws, not that many, but uh, you have one, two, these are the hard drive screws, so remove these two, then just slide out the hard drive. So that's step number one. Step number two, push this pad in and pull out your DVD drive. And then you have to remove, so you have screw number one, screw number two, screw number three, screw number four, screw number five. So you have to remove five screws altogether. Next step is just to lift off the cover, and the cover comes off, you just lift it up. Here we go. Lift it up from where the battery compartment is because it has uh, tabs here at the bottom. So this is made of uh, magnesium. Anyway, so remove the cover and voila! Uh, you have access to the memory slots and you can also clean up your fan if you're here already. So let's uh, put more memory in. This comes standard with uh, 4 gigs of memory. This is a DDR3 uh, 12,800 and uh, I got this one from uh, Dell directly uh, since it's a corporate unit so I expect it to work well. Um, if you have similar chipset configuration or memory addressing here on these uh, DRAM banks and looks like on this one it is. Uh, chances are you're gonna be using dual channel for the, your memory. Otherwise, it's usually best to have two identical modules installed. Um, so, in order to install this one, just uh, spot this real, little little notch on your memory. So, slide it in at this angle, like 45 degrees or so, and then push it in. Once you pushed it in. Make sure that these uh, side notches are properly properly installed, and your memory is in. A uh, couple words here: so, a little broom plus a little bit of compressed compressed air, it's gonna clean that up. So again, that's a good uh, time to clean up your fan. So, this is it. Time to put back the cover. And uh, before I put any screws back in, I usually like to fire it up to see that it works. So cover goes back in again you look at the uh, 45 degree angle here so the bottom uh, pins uh, are engaged and then you just push it in I'm gonna slide in everything temporarily so here's my uh, DVD here's my uh, hard drive so I put the battery back in and let's turn it on so, bias should beep at me, telling me that something has changed. Here we go. Um, so F1 will automatically take you to Windows, I assume. Uh, F2, um, I, you go to the setup or bias. And F5 to run onboard diagnostics. I'm going to do F2. Just go to the bias. One thing that you can do is not necessary. In this case, uh, the config other times it might be it's just to go here at the bottom. We do load defaults, and then once you click on exit, it's going to ask you if you want to save everything. So uh, once the unit comes back up, because uh, it restarts right now, reboots, it should uh, just uh, fire up with the added memory. 
and Windows should work a bit better or a bit faster. Anyway, hope you found this useful. If you have any comments, let me know. Until next time, thanks for watching.